Good day, good day. <laughs> How the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, what we got here today? Yeah, check this beauty out. Yeah, this is a nice one today. On a one on Wednesday. Yep, can you believe it? I only got one of these buggers. Yeah. Well, let's get right into it, all right? Yeah, oh, by the way, thank you for coming over to Roverland. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up right away, all right, before we get started. All right, then we got Shabam! Oh, we're, uh, of course, upside down. We got a Range Rover. It's 143rd scale. Solido, Solido, out of, uh, made in France. Solido, Solido? I believe that's Solido. I'm sure I'm not saying it French way, Frenchly, French, freshly, freshly friends. Never mind. All right, one big old screw right there on the bottom of it. It is uh, kind of just a plain base hooks in the back there. Uh, plastic base, plastic tires uh, with uh, nice chrome chrome uh, head head uh, hub wheels steel wheels as I should say what are that rosette rosette rims that's what they were um, and it does uh, have a place where it was at one time uh, screwed to a base so normally this is uh, comes with a base and it uh, said what did it say uh, 192 what 1927 Land Rover rally uh, number 183 that's what we're looking at here and um, as you guys can kind of see here if we could focus this was um, the Range Rover rally Paris Dakar rally raid raid Paris Dakar second place and uh, Garbrew and uh, Gabba Gabbe were the drivers there, and I believe those are the French flags there, Pacific, uh, number 183, and this is a rally race car, Dakar rally race car, and I love the Dakar rally. Oh, I just love it to pieces. I wish that uh, Land Rover was still in it. The last time I saw uh, a Land Rover in it, uh, they, uh, now this was Dakar 1984, and not too much later, they decided to pull out because one of the one of the drivers I, I saw a, a YouTube video on it, and they said they need to bring big movers, bigger bigger movers, because yeah, these uh, the Range Rovers just uh, you know second place they were good, but they they were struggling and they needed bigger movers and. Uh, bigger trucks to really uh, compete better in the Dakar Rally. It just got big. And uh, so, yeah, I, I I would drive for Land Rover, the Dakar Rally, if they want me to. But this is very nice model. It's got opening doors. This is a right hooker. Uh, you can see in there that it even has a literal, little rear view mirror poking down right there from the roof that is that is really kind of cool i'm going to get my poker in here yeah can, can you see it right there it is yeah i'm touch i'm touching it i'm touching it mom i'm touching it <laughs> cheese balls but uh very nice rep representation got the fuel tank over here um plastic tires i love the rosette wheels they did um paint the center caps on this and uh we are just uh, having a hardy duty time trying to focus today, but uh, that's all right. But yeah, they paint the center caps of those wheels, and uh, I'm not really sure why. Now, this did come in uh, this uh, light blue with the decals, uh, and also they did a green one and a brown one in a regular estate colors, per se. But uh, really kind of a nice model. I really liked it. I bought this on eBay. Yeah, and this is the way I got it. And uh, just a really nice. Let's go around to the front here. Love that classic Land Rover front end. It has uh, lens 
uh, details, which are also the side side there as well. Boy, oh boy, this camera, uh, the phone is just not wanting to focus at all today, I tell you. Time to get some new help, but the uh, clam hood there, it does have embossed on the front there. That is not a sticker, that is embossed. Range Rover, very nice touch, very impressive there. But uh, you can see that the lens, uh, plastic lens piece, transparent lens piece goes uh, there on the side. I believe it's two pieces with the black grill in the middle. And uh, very, very kind of cool. I like that. Uh, I could use a spot of uh, silver behind the headlights instead of the uh, body paint uh, color. But uh, clam hood there does have wipers molded into the windshield. Uh, just really kind of cool. So let's, uh, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Cheese balls. I got half the truck. Where's the rest of it? Are you kidding me? Hey. Solid! Solido! Where is the rest of my decals? I was totally surprised as you can see. <laughs> you know the uh, acting classes at the community college just paid off, didn't it? <laughs> I got this model, I pulled it out of the box, I was totally surprised they sold it to me like this. And I'm like, this is cool. Got it, pulled it out of the box. And to my surprise, there was no decals on the other side. What is going on? This is, <laughs> how do you sell something like this? I don't understand. I don't understand. But anyway, so looking on the internet at different pictures and stuff like that, there are models out there that have fully detailed decals on the hood on the roof they have this image mirrored on this side i don't know i could not find out any information on why this particular piece this model does not have uh the decals on the whole thing i mean it's a beautiful model you know very nice representation but where in the world are the decals? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so anyway, Solido, come on, what's going on? Now, apparently, uh, now this comes from their racing series. They did a racing series. Uh, and uh, let's let's finish looking at the back here. Uh, once again, uh, embossed Range Rover on the tailgate. Uh, you can see the rear defrost in the rear windshield. Very nice. And then also you can see that they have rear taillight inserts. Very, very nice. Very cool model. Um, in my limited searching, I could not find a reason or a rhyme uh, why... A car would be like this I don't I don't believe it's an error I don't believe that uh, I saw plenty of pictures of it like this and then I saw plenty of pictures of it with the decals on the roof and on the hood uh, and assuming it's on this side too but uh, matter of fact uh, I went and saw at carmodel.com just lower letter letters car model com that you could buy decal sheets and uh, it was the whole stuff so I'm not sure if this was a kit model or something uh, now they did come like I said they did come on a on a placard with the nameplate that you know uh, said you know Dakar rally on it and a Range Rover rally uh, in a clear acrylic box uh, you know so you know they I think they went for a nice premium price. Like I say, this is a pretty nice model. Plastic base, but the metal metal, metal body and uh, opening parts, all oh, great. And now I just broke it. What the heck is going on? I'm uh, yelling and getting all excited about how they uh, jipped me on my... <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was close. Oh, cheese balls. But look at that. I mean, it's got door panels for the inside of the doors. 
Uh, very nice detailing on the inside there. I mean, you can't you can't beat it. You can't see it either, but you can't beat it. <laughs> but yeah, just I just was totally thrown back at why this model wouldn't have decals on both sides. If you have the answer to that, let me know. All right, write down in the comments below. Come on over to Facebook to Roverland Channel. Check me out on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Smash that button there. And uh, yeah, let's let's have fun. All right. Thank you for joining me today on a one of Wednesday. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.